interest in having any coalition. We must be very clear on that. Political parties are formed to push a particular agenda. I mean, if we had wanted a coalition, we would not have formed a party. You cannot form a party and then the next thing you want a coalition. It doesn't make sense because you form parties on the basis of an assessment of the existing situation. And you're not finding there's no party currently in the country that even meets us one quarter of the way. Not, we can only meet at the stage that the current government must be replaced. But that is, that is not even a starting point. I mean, that is obvious. Then once we say that the current government must be replaced, there is no other aspect on which we have an agreement with the other parties. So we have no intention to be in a coalition. Our intention is to keep marketing our ideas, marketing our genuineness, marketing what we believe in, and saying to people that the struggle to make this country better is a long one. So it's not a 2018 affair, and which is what a coalition is all about. A coalition is about thinking that uh, everything will be solved in 2018. That is not a correct position. I mean, the forces that we are fighting are quite big. There must be space for life after 2018. There must be space for possible success in 2018 and space for possible failure in 2018. And what do you do after that? Now, those who are talking about a coalition are people that are likely to come together, fail, disappear. Yet the country still has so many problems to be attended to. So you're always better off standing there on a particular set of principles and you pursue them as long as those principles solve uh, the country's difficulties. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.